Oh, hi everyone. Um, here we are, and uh, you've just seen a little bit of me fitting the shelf top to the to the settees. The settees uh, finished so far, at least they've finished as far as I'm going to go for now. So they're structurally all there, feeling nice and solid. So if you just scan over there, Kerry, you'll see we've got the back on that side, which is the starboard side, you've got the back on and the top on, which is the shelf. Um, if you remember last week, we were fitting the, the seat to the starboard side, so that's come on well. On the port side, we've got the shelf in place all the way along, fitted, glued on. And the other thing I've done, or what I'm working on now, is if you just walk forwards a bit, Kerry, or aft a bit, actually, what I'm working on now is this, this is where, remember this is where the main mast comes up. So the mast partners for the main mast. And what I've done is I've, I've cut a rebate along both sides of these beams. Um, 20 mil deep and 20 mil wide actually. Did it with a router and then I had to finish off the very edges because the router has the cutting guide on it and you can't get completely into the corners with the cutting guide on. So finished it off just with a chisel by hand, but it's come out nicely. Then I've fashioned two pieces, if you come in there, yeah, two pieces, one each side, just look at this one, that fit in there, also with that rebate in. because we're going to sit two sheets of ply in here for the partners and then there'll be the, the two more sheets of ply on top of that for the deck and then some kind of structure on the deck as well for the partners but anyhow that would be it so it'll be 40 centimeter uh, 40 millimeters four centimeters thick ply and then whatever comes on top so these beams are in they're epoxied in I've got a mix of epoxy ready and what we're going to do now Kerry will give me a hand is that we're going to put the epoxy round in this rebate. The board is here waiting to go in. I've covered one side with the light glass cloth and epoxy. Did that yesterday. 
Um, so we're ready to, once the epoxy is around that rebate, then we're going to drop that board in place and clamp it down to glue it in position. Well, yeah, here we are. Mask partners or main mask partners in position. Um, we've got two layers of 10 mil ply on here now. And as I said before, obviously the deck planking coming on top of that, which is another two layers of 10 mil ply. So in the end, the partner section will be at least 40 mil thick. I say there may be another piece on top of that just in the partner's vicinity. Um, but yeah, coming on, and it also gives us a great impression of, of what it's going to be, look, what it will look like when it's decked. Remember that this piece of decking is actually 20 mil lower than the main deck will be, but gives us a good impression. Uh, looking great, I think. It's come out very well. So, what else can I tell you about? Clearly, you know, a job like this is not only you don't only spend your time building, um, getting supplies in ordering pieces, bits and bobs. It's also, nah, takes a while. What I've done this morning is that I've ordered the toilet that's coming in here. Ordered a composting toilet, um, a Kildwick Cabin Collect, I think it was called. Um, not cheap. Some, in the end with delivery is about 800 pounds with the, with the fittings for the vent and whatever. Rather expensive toilet, has to be said but self-contained units so there's no no y valves no tanks no no extras involved so it's going to come in there it's not too big it's also good looking <laughs> i think that was as far as i can ascertain it's well built and and it looks decent so i think that was important um the toilet and it doesn't want to look like some horrible thing does it you want to feel happy to use it so that's coming in there and well, hopefully they they make them to order so apparently it's going to be four weeks in in manufacture 
and then maybe about five weeks time from now I guess we should have it and it'll be interesting to unbox it and have a look I'll show you that and sit it in here and see what it looks like but I, I needed to have that toilet before I get this this bulkhead this longitudinal bulkhead wall and the door in because I need to see it before I can really make final decisions about that section so that's obviously on hold so what we're going to do next or what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start fitting the sides on the on the raised deck on the cabin I'm going to cut two boards today get them fiberglassed and then hopefully tomorrow get them in position that's where we go on It's quite noisy, isn't it? Yeah. I can't imagine it's on here. Acorns. No, it's a branch. 
one the day before in it. Good, what's that? And it's just a case of a clean up. Go inside and check it's all sealed around inside. And there we are. Um, it's made quite a difference really, hasn't it? The first sort of section of deck, it's not quite deck, but it gives us a deck appearance. First two sections of the coach roof side on and, and the place is taking shape. Okay, there we are, that's it for this week. Um, if you haven't subscri subscribed already, please subscribe or give me a thumbs up. Thanks, Bill. In the sunset, stand there to see. Tell me where you're going so decisively. What's your destination? Tell me where you're bound. We can move together where adventures abound. Running free before the breeze. Are there many? Such as Each other for months on end.